Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanted to bring to you guys this week um, one of the, the largest and most current studies that we have on fasting. So many of you guys know that this is our fast training week, depending upon when you're watching this video. And one of the things I've observed with fasting is that if you step into fasting and you don't really understand all the science behind it, uh, your mind starts to chatter at you, people talk you out of fasting, um, and it's really being solid in your knowledge and understanding of what fasting can do for you and what the science is showing that will help you move through, especially these longer fasts, with more ease and more certainty, and ultimately, the more you understand this, the better result you get, okay? So we're gonna dive in to what you need to know about this study. So this study, or the, the, the um, it was released, published on January 2nd of 2019. So it's there's only a handful of new studies that we're seeing um, coming out this year. A lot of the older studies have been done on Vol with Walter Longo and fast mimicking and the um, white blood cell count. We know, of course, about uh, Dr. Osumi who did it on autophagy. So, but this is this year, it came out and it was a large study. It was done on over 1400 subjects. So I wanna break down what this study taught us about fasting. Their fasting period was from four days to 21 days. So this is a, a fairly long period of fasting, which is super cool too. So we have over 1,400 people um, and how it broke down into age is it was 60% women and 40% men. And the age range was from, believe it or not, 18 years old all the way up to 99, according to the study. They did do pre-qualify people. So if you had any eating disorders, if you had any advanced kidney or liver issues, if you had any uh, cerebral vascular insufficiency, dementia, pregnant or lactating, you were not allowed into the study. They had that um, people spent at least 10 nights in the study, like being observed. So it was a very controlled fasting experience. They kept the calories under 200 calories. They didn't say what they fed them in that 200, but this, um, that's as close to a water fast as we know. Okay, here's what I want you to know, that there were four major highlights of this study, okay? One, in 100% of the people, 100% of the people, they lost weight, they specifically lost weight around their abdominal circumference and their blood pressure went down, okay? 100% of the people. In 93% of the people, they noticed an increase in physical or emotional well-being and an absence of hunger, okay? So I wanna stop there for on the second one for a moment. Those of you that are nervous about how you're gonna feel on a fast, I promise you, the more you do this, the more you exercise that fat and that fast training muscle, the more you'll start to see how incredible you can feel. We do know that longer, not in this study, but other studies have taught us that the longer you fast, um, the more you get, you secrete GABA, and GABA is the neurotransmitter that calms the brain. So those of you that have been fasting for an extended period of time, you know that there's a point at which you just feel zen, you send out, you feel like you don't wanna talk as much, like your whole being just calms down. Well, guess what? Out of 1,400 people, 93% noticed the same thing. I dug a little deeper into the study and found that they also noticed that there was a, a real um, increase in BDNF, uh, BDNR, which is the, the um, brain fertilizer for the brain. So mental clarity really made a big, or really skyrocketed as well. Okay, third thing I want you to know about this is that 400, and, well actually 404 of the members of the study had a pre-existing health problem, meaning they came in with some health condition that they were already working on. And 341 of those people reported that there was improvement. That's an 84% of the people that went into the long-term fasting came out with saying, yeah, this condition I've been working on, 84%, it has improved. 
Okay, I want you guys to know that as well because so many of you ask me, will this help with this condition and that condition and this condition? And we just don't have enough of these long-term studies and, and enough specifics on each one of these conditions. Unfortunately, a lot of research studies are backed by the pharmaceutical industry. There, the pharmaceutical industry has no economic benefit in doing these big studies. But when we look at a study like this and we can say, oh my gosh, look, people with a variety of conditions reported that they improved after going into a longer fast. Okay, so that was the third thing. And then this, for those of you that are fearful of, the, uh, of fasting, out of 1,400 people, less than 1% of them uh, reported any adverse reaction. Less than 1% had a problem with it. So you guys know this if you've been fasting with me, is that the mind plays tricks on you and it will tell you that you're gonna die or that the hunger is never gonna go away or the dizziness or whatever you're, or the fatigue. But I promise you the whole goal of fasting is to get you over into this, to, to switch your metabolism over into more of a fat burner. And in that process of switching, it can feel uncomfortable, but here are 1,400 people that hung in there through it, through it all, these longer fasts, and they afterwards reported, only 1% reported an adverse reaction. So really cool study. Now, a couple other things I want you to know. So they did look at other areas, other um, reports that of, of blood measurements that they used that showed some decreases that were interesting, that I thought were interesting. One is ESR went down. So this is an inflammatory marker. So we know that inflammation goes down. Those of you that are doing keto and you're worried about a cholesterol, the study also showed that LDLs went down that they, in, the, in the time period that they were fasting. Okay, now they didn't, they, they, they pointed out in the study that they didn't do HDLs versus LDLs. So they didn't do the ratio, but the LDLs did go down. So again, I will link this study in there so you guys can dissect it as well. The other interesting thing for those of you that are losing hair or you're getting heart palpitations is they showed that your electrolyte balance went off in these longer fasts. So specifically calcium and phosphorus Magnesium did stay the same. I found that fascinating. But calcium and phosphorus went off um, and can cause some uh, electrolyte imbalances. Um, they measured kidneys, they measured um, liver, found that there was not much, much of a change in those two organs as far as stress on those two organs. So now they, this was, the fasting period, like I said, was from, from four days all the way up to 21 days. So this was such a cool study. I really wanted to bring it to you guys so that you have, you have the proper information. There's a lot of questions out there about should women fast? Uh, what conditions should not fast? Um, so you, you can see what they thought. The conditions that shouldn't fast were ones, people who had eating disorders, uh, kidney or liver problems, cerebral vascular insufficiency, dementia, pregnant or lactating. So it, it, those are, if you have any of that going on, this would be a good time to not fast. The, they chose not to do that in their study as well. Um, but there, I will put the link in here. It's a very juicy study. The only, they did say that some people reported they didn't sleep as well. Yeah, well that, I mean, many of us in these longer fasts just find that we don't require as much sleep. But there are so many, we see it in my resetter group so much. There are so many miracles that happen when you fast that I really, it's important to me that you guys get the proper information, that you get armed with the right information so that when you're in these longer fasts, if you have loved ones that are like, you're crazy, if you have doctors that are like, it's not safe. <laughs> if you have a doctor that says it's not safe, bring them this article, send them this video. That th this is the science is showing us that yes, it actually is safe. 1,400 people, 1% 1 had an adverse reaction. Um, they even summarize at the end that, that uh, the um, uh, observers of the study basically came out and said, not only is it safe, it just really improves the physical and well-being of people.
okay? So keep fasting, and I hope you guys are joining me on my fast training week. Let me know. Give me, tell us in the comments if you want to know when the next one is. We'll, we'll, it's August right now, depending on when you watch this. We're in the middle of a fast training week, but we do them once a week, um, both in my Resetter group on Facebook and here on YouTube. So as always, keep fasting, and I hope that helps.